Listen, man, if there's one single takeaway from this entire arc, it's that Brooke is kind of him. Guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus. We are in Whole Cake Island in One Piece. And yeah, Brooke is 1v1ing an emperor, and it's not like he's getting any crazy hits in or anything. But my dog, like, you guys know what I'm talking about if you've been watching the reactions. And finally, Jinbei has made his return to free Luffy and Nami. So we're gonna see what that whole plan is about. I'm so excited to get started today. Hop on the Patreon if you want uncut timer reactions, and let's hop into this bad boy. <laughs> Okay, Reiju's fine. I love how the pillow is a candy, bro. She's gonna give her family a heads up, though. Like, it's gonna be all out war between Jerma and, like, the Big Mom Pirates. Oh, Sanji. Oh, she's coming to see her. He knows, and Pudding doesn't know that he knows. Oh, wait, she won't remember, but he will remember because she took her memories. But will she believe? So yeah, she she would one million percent believe Sanji. Wait, putting messed up so bad. Mm -mm. Maybe he won't even tell her. Never mind. Oh yeah, never mind. I was like, maybe he has some like some other play. No, he. I, I think he genuinely like they care about each other out of any of the family. It was actually just gonna break him. Just find the bookmark, bro! It's too strong even for karate. Wait, actually, you have to find the bookmark. Bro, I swear Luffy wants to at this point. You'll burn him alive! Bro, these shots of Nami are just insane. Just insane. Wait, he's gonna burn down like the whole library. I guess Mondor would be the one with the bookmark. He wouldn't just leave it here. He just okay, no, this is unhinged. Nami Eastful, it looks like a gravestone now. This just doesn't seem efficient. I mean, it's efficient, but it's not safe. I like how gung-ho Jinbei and Luvi are about it, though. Wait, everyone else inside the book. All the creatures and stuff will die. Oh, no, they're getting out. He just got a bucket of water. Where did he spawn that in from? Ah, he's a fish man. Maybe he, like, pisses water. That's not good. <laughs> He's back, baby! Now Luffy's gonna just book it for the fa Oh, dude. DUDE! What? <laughs> Bro, Toei! Damn! Luffy's gonna book it back to the field and just stand there waiting for Sanji again. She's gonna steal his clothes. True. It feels like just yesterday. No, it doesn't. It feels like lifetimes ago. Oh, wait. She actually did change her fit. Wait, that kind of goes crazy, though. So they still are affiliated. So how did the rest of that conversation even go? This is a rebellion. He's committing. He's like, so Luffy, about that offer to join. These were those responsibilities. Mm -hmm. So whenever he said responsibilities, I thought he was talking about Fishman Island, but it was his dedication to a crew. I just feel so safe around Jinbei. He's like a dad. Oh. <laughs> Under these circumstances, yo, Jim may better learn fast if he's gonna be part of the straw hats. I mean, good thing we're in a whole cake where there's food literally everywhere, even if it does have a soul. Oh, that's right, he said he wouldn't. Oh my god, wait, Luffy's gonna die of starvation. I just miss King Bomb. I see him right there and I miss him. Wait, Pudding messed up so bad telling them. She 100% thought they were stuck there for good. So now they know and Sanji knows. She overplayed her hand. The thing is, I wonder if they'll try to like figure out a plan with Jerma. Jerma hates Sanji, but they would hate being lied to and tricked even more. Oh no. Wait, he still has, oh, I thought he was gonna be like erectile dysfunction Luffy. Like he wasn't gonna have the energy for it. Of course she does. Yeah, of course she does. Yeah. Wait, Pudding messed up so bad twice. Not knowing Sanji was listening. That's why she was here. 
Oh, that clears that up. It was also a lie. But maybe this is like an actual out though for him. It depends on Jerma's move. And actually, Judge would believe Reiju. Actually. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a good opportunity. Oh! They're just gonna let Jerma lose! What? Yo. Dang! Well, he has to get the cuffs off first, too. Think about Baratier after you escape. It's not like he can go, like, protect Zef. Hmm. Wait, that involves their mother? I thought she was saying for our mother's sake because, you know, their mother was an actual genuine good person. Oh, shoot. Wait. They had another sibling on the way. Oh, no. Nah. Wait, what? Little tiny rage you! <laughs> A surgery. Oh, for the kids to turn them into machines. Mm. Wait, do they have another sibling out there? Like, in, in secret? Or was it before they were born? Oh, it was before. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. And it worked on all of them still, except for Sanji. Oh, That's why Sanji's the failure, too. And we know that. Like, he doesn't have the abilities like the others, but... Oh my gosh, little Sanji! Sanji was the only one affected by it, by her plan to foil his plan. Bro! He's so small! <laughs> no! No! He has a heart! She slowly died from the, the toxins she took. Oh, man. She literally died for Sanji to have a normal life. Hmm. She's just happy at least one of them was affected by it. It's so sad, though, because she had to inherently disassociate herself from her other three kids. Because she knew they weren't going to be, uh, they, like, all their emotions were like, cut. Look after him. She was happy that you could have a life. She was glad that Sanji and Reiju had each other to look after. Dude, at least Sanji has Reiju. Oh my gosh. I mean, not to say he had it easy, but thank goodness he had her. Bro, Yanji really think he part of the crew. It's crazy. Before now, we had never seen any interactions between Reiju and Sora. Oh. Aww. Bro, it's in Reiju too. Damn, the spark of humanity. Damn. Oh. <laughs> Bro, after how bad Sanji has had it, especially like this entire arc, honestly, I'll, like I said, thank everything that he has raised you. My goodness, man. It's insane, though, like how many things could happen at the tea party and the wedding. I guess the tea party is the wedding, kind of. But like how everyone will act, the number of moves that can be made from both Jerma and the Big Mom Pirates, it's crazy. 820. <laughs> All right, so now Luffy's just loose in the chateau, so. The problem is, it, depending on who he can possibly run into, I'm terrified. But Brooke's still, I think, kind of keeping Big Mom busy, so. <laughs> I'll keep Big Mom busy. I you know what I mean. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't be able to handle a woman of that caliber. I don't have the necessary tools. What? Cadenza? Why does he look like a prisoner? Why does his head look like that? 
Oh, it was one of these two. Bro, he got beat down by so many people, I couldn't remember. Now, what does Sanji do? He seems more locked in now, though. Like, more, like, I don't know. Less hopeless. That, that was what I was looking for. What's he supposed to do about the cuffs? Dude, Reiju sounds like she's ready to go down with Jerma. It's kind of sad. Yeah, that's an empty threat. Dang! <laughs> we deserve that. Dude, you're not like them. Yeah. Just because you never ran away? Hmm. Man. Oh. oh, finally! Bro, this is where they come back in the Pedro and Baron? Dude, that was like four episodes ago. Hold up. So he's an egg? Oh, what? Ch cheap? Oh, hell no. What is this? What? Getting cut in half evolves him? Viscount Hyoko? I don't think Pedro even knows what's happening. What? Like cheap like a bird? I I'm sorry. He was an egg that... Reborn and evolves mo No shot! <laughs> no, dude! What? He's a bird! What? That doesn't seem fair. Losing makes you stronger. Wait, he looks badass, though. Yo! He just actually flies and uses two small blades. Okay, so this fight is not- I thought this fight was completely over. I had written Pedro as the winner. I like how he kept the, uh, the cup of- It's either tea or coffee on his head, at least. Actually, this is whole cake. That might be hot chocolate. And we're gone. Okay. Back to Brook and Big Bob. Never thought I would say those words, but we're here. There's a giant dent in him. Why do I feel like Brooke actually has a plan beyond just like t it's like taking a stand against her? He's, up. He's jumping back in! Dog, I wish the other straw hats were here to witness this. And she has like two insane bo like elemental bodyguards. Oh, Brooke. Bro's giving it his best shot. Oh my gosh. I mean, he looky too fast. Like, yeah, what is he supposed to do, man? He's getting, like, spun camped. Bro got struck by lightning and kept going. Bro! Oh, shoot! He's going for her heart! Oh. Oh. Was that hockey that, like, reflected? Yo! Wait, that cut went kind of crazy, though. Wait, they're bobbing off! We got some crazy fights, crazy lore. Okay, he's going nuts. You know it's good fights when I don't even, I don't even, like, I'm not even mad that they're going between them. That's when you know you're at top tier fights. Come on, Pedro! For the Minx, man! Oh, no! It's my fault, I jinxed it. Dodge! Oh, no, nah. he's flying in. Oh, no! Nah. Uh, he got him again! Oh! That's my goat! If he has a third form, I'll stand up and spread my cheeks wide for the camera. Nah, they would not do Pedro that dirty. He actually cut him again. What a beast! Guys. Guys, it was a joke. Cookie! When do you die? What? The third form? How many are there? Count Niwatori? He said, how silly. God, what a cold bastard. Tamago, the Viscount Hyoko, now to Count Niwatori. Dude, when does he die? Is the true knight. All right, fine. I'm going to censor it, though. Wait, just stab him. Just stab the yoke! It's like a skeleton in Elden Ring, bro. You knock him down and you just gotta hit him before he gets back up. Don't let him evolve. Wait, what? 
Oh! <laughs> what? He said, I'm taking you with me. Well, oh, Pe Pedro's kind of unhinged. Dog. This guy is crazy. He just let it. Is it a fake? What? What the f What is happening? This is the most one piece ass fight I have ever watched in my entire life. Bro said, all right, I'll just kill myself. Okay. <laughs> and we're back. Okay. All right. We'll see him in like five episodes or something. I don't know. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. Listen, bro. If Luffy was like full energy, he would have taken care of this guy already. That's the only reason we're still here. I don't think he knows, to be honest. Well, he might have an idea. Oh, Brooke? Yeah, I think Haki repelled him. It looked like a force field around her. Oh, wait. Yo! He actually hit her? What? Who is her dermatologist? Oh, so she just has like armor skin, basically. Yeah, that seems fair. Oh. <gasps> No, he's downtown. Get up, Brook! No, the music cut out. I don't think he's... They really double tapped him. Really. It's a 3v1, guys. Flinch. He's still trying to use a move. Oh my gosh. This is my goat. He cut Prometheus! What? Wait, he actually damaged the sun. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Nah. I think Brook might be dead. Oh, my gosh. Don't train him, please, ma'am. Bro, what is she doing to this man? <laughs> Lie to Big Mom? Oh, dang. They want to handle it. Well, how many total floors are there to this place? Oh. Okay. Okay, that seems unnecessary. Oh, no, nah, Brooke. Oh, no. Nah, she stripped him. He's like a little doll now. No. Oh, it's a 4v1. That's right, her hat. Oh, she's giving them her actual, like, oh, that's why they're so strong. Oh. Dude. Bro, Brooke better not even feel down on himself, man. Wait, there's nothing in the tube. Wait, where's the imprint? Wait. Where is the imprint? Pet, pet. No, Brook. The tomate box. Don't get me started. So wait, where was the imprint for the poneglyph? There's nothing in the the tube. Let someone reach Raftel again. Oh, there's the bitch of the hour. Mess up like I did with Roger. Oh, shoot. Wait, stone with his strange ability that allowed him to hear the voice of all things. We have someone who will eventually have a similar, but but Luffy has Luffy and, and Momonosuke where they could hear like Zunisha and stuff. So that ability also gives you the ability to like, like about poneglyphs, like road poneglyphs. Oh, I'm sick to my stomach just seeing her. Third eye opened its to its true power. What? Pure blood of the tribe. What? Rare three-eyed people's blood. Is it like an awakened devil fruit? Am I supposed to feel bad for her? Brooke, you have no idea, bro. The fact that we know each other. Brooke, you have no idea. Okay, so Luffy killed Cadenza before he even told him. All right. Oh, yeah, that's what I was asking about. Oh! Bro! Wait, that actually solves everything. Now the only reason he won't leave is because of her. He wouldn't leave her behind. She's the only family member that's ever cared about him. 
Of course she won't he won't leave her behind. Why would he? You're important to him! Dude, this is gonna be the most complicated wedding of all time tomorrow. Dang, bro! Mm. There's only one rage you though. Dang, dude, a crazy couple of episodes. That fight with Pedro and Baron was like shockingly insane. But also same for Brooke and Big Mom. Like how much Brooke was able to achieve. But some spicy kind of lore, like nothing crazy new. But the fact that she said she failed with Roger or like failed against Roger maybe. And then a more info on the voice of all things. Like I said, I think it's similar to being able to hear maybe Sea Kings, but also like Zunisha and stuff. It's, it's a, an ability that very few people have. The only people we've seen is it's confirmed Roger and now Luffy and Momo. They're just special. I don't know. It's kind of like Conqueror's Hockey, but it's like even rarer. But man, yeah, Whole Cake is delivering and I feel like we're not even at the climax yet. Like it's all building for the wedding. These are like sort of preliminary preliminaries before that but i do really wonder what brooke's plan is i'm I, it makes me so sad that he's like down on himself because like i said he's literally fighting against the emperor this is the equivalent of brooks brook 1v1ing shanks bro like dog shanks would like i would think blink at brook and he'd shatter into a million pieces but now we also do know why prometheus zeus and her hat are so strong is because she's directly feeding them part of her soul so it's like a, 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 a extension of big bob if you will and yeah the status of pedro is just kind of unknown at this point i don't know why the dynamite was the play but i i also didn't expect baron to have like a three forms maybe more but guys that's been it for my reaction to one piece today i hope you enjoyed make sure you drop a sub on the channel if you have not already so you don't miss any more of this adventure and i'll catch you next time peace peace